All right, everyone. I'm here with Ryan. What's up? This is like a mini episode of opening day. Unofficial. I was going to say unsanctioned, but there's no... I don't think we're sanctioned by anybody anyway. (laughs) Right. This is all barely legal as it is. It's Um, very legal. I know what you're talking about. That's a joke from The Simpsons where they were talking about the the Chocobot hour or whatever, and the the lady goes, that's barely legal as it is. Anyway, we got a box here, courtesy of our friends at Panini, the 2019 Diamond Kings uh, baseball set, which uh, it says there are are two autographs or memorabilia cards in there. And uh, so let's get right into it and see what we find. How do you open these? There we go. It's always one of the hard parts is getting that thing to stay. All right. So we'll start right here. There's also supposed to be some... Ret- it says the box says look for retro designs from 2002, 2003, and 2004. It doesn't feel very retro to me. Great. Mini retro. Okay. See, I don't know much about the Diamond Kings these days, so I don't know about like limited editions or numbers or whatever. The Bryce Harper. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like it's uh, indented, like a uh, I don't know what the word for that is, but like a frame on the car. yeah frame. That's cool. Got a trout. Michael Trout. Well, you guys can't see that. I was just looking at the back. I can't. You now you can never. You can't tell me you've ever opened a pack that got with Mike Trout, Grover Cleveland. Back to back, or Honus Wagner. Yeah, yeah. So these are uh, definitely unique. And if you'll recall, in the you know 80s, and I'm sure they did it in the 90s, but I wasn't collecting at that point. That Donruss, which is now owned by Panini, would have their Diamond King subsets within every base set, and they were just you know usually they were just regular cards, a drawing of you know the All Stars or whatever. But now they're their own kind of sub brand with their own boxes and you know uh, autographs and relics and such Lou Gehrig and by the way we're going to be giving away a box of these on Twitter at some point so pay attention to the SN MLB SN underscore MLB Twitter account and also you can follow Ryan and I for details and we will also be opening a box of these uh, at some point soon on the regular opening day show which drops each Thursday, as long as we have episodes. Vlad has got um, Vladdy Sr. on the back, oh, that's, which is kind of cool. That's cool. Yeah. And the one thing that's pretty true with these um, these Diamond Kings is that because there's only eight cards in there, pretty much all the cards are going to be good players. They might not be valuable cards, but... And I, I'm now 0 for 3 on trying to open these packs on the first try. I was trying not to make fun of I missed the wax packs. <laughs> and as always, I feel the need to point out that uh, the reason that there are no team logos... Oh, a Trey Turner autograph. Nice. That's pretty sweet. Is there a number on it? No, but that's cool. We'll set that aside. The reason there are no team logos on these cards is not because they are... Joe Jackson. Sorry. Shoeless Joe. Say it ain't so. Uh, the reason there's no logos on these hats or uniforms is not because the cards are knockoffs or, or unlicensed. They are licensed by the... Or, I'm sorry, Panini has a license with the MLB Players Association to use their likeness, but does not have an agreement right now with MLB itself, which is why there are no logos on the hats or uh, the jerseys. But a minor quibble. It's all above board and cool. You know what? I'm not even going to try to open that one from there. This is, this is borderline embarrassing. Right? I was say I'm ashamed for you. But at least you know they're pretty much tamper-proof. That's true. <laughs> I could never be a a shady. Hey, Babe Ruth. I can never. That? George Herman, some guy. The Great Bambino. I thought it was the Great Bambi. Yep. Colby Allard. 
Braves fans hope he turns out to be a, a stud on the mound. Jody. Jolden Joe. I feel like I should be setting all these good cards aside, but then they're, they're all pretty much good. Patrick. <laughs> Patrick Wisdom, they called him back in St. Louis before he got uh, moved on. They called him Patty Smarts, which always made me laugh. Bryce Wilson, another Braves pitching prospect. Tris Speaker. I'm so sorry, everyone. This is ridiculous. I'm gonna step in. Yeah, I have to have Ryan take over. He's more skilled. Sure, sure. The arm out in center of the field. There's another one of those framed ones. Mickey Betts portrait. And again, I gotta be honest, these these are new, they just came out recently. I have not studied up to see the different variants that might be in here or what might be worth something. So if you see this and we've overlooked something really cool, please let us know on Twitter. Or if you want it to be a secret, you can just DM one of us. It'd be nice and not call us out. The Mick. Man, it's kind of, I, I'm not gonna lie, it's cool to see all these these stars that I grew up reading about in library books. Yeah, and I'm... I'm oh, I saw what was next. Yeah, I was going to make a joke and say that. I, I'm not going to lie. Like, I, you know, I've never heard of uh, Sean Reed Foley. What? Never heard of him. You heard of the guy that's next? Yes. Yes, definitely. It's also weird how some of these have these little... I think that's Cardboard so you, things. it might feel like they're, they're a relic card, but there's really not. Yeah. Christy Matthewson. He was one of my favorites. I love reading about him. Again, this box is courtesy of our friends at Panini. We are thankful that they are allowing us to Stand open one. the man. I might have to take that one. And every one of these cards is turned around. Oop. Mariano, Mr. Unanimous. Which he should have been like the 40th unanimous guy. Another brave young pitcher. The Express. Here, I'll just go ahead and set aside. I appreciate that. For you. Reese Hoskins. He's going to be real. He already is good, but he's going to be really, really good as the years go on. Speaking of really good, Paul Goldschmidt, George Brett. Ooh, a relic. Relic of George Brett. Nice. Now, our boss, Benson Taylor, the executive editor of Sporting News, is from Kansas City, big Royals fan. He's not in the office this week, so he <laughs> So just, we're going to delete this video real quick right, so he doesn't he, see. He, 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 this never happened as far as he's concerned. That's awesome. Johnny Bench. Let's see real quick. This is why they have some of the... Yeah. The fake... Relic cards in there. Mel Ott. My wife always tells me that Mel Ott is is a frequent um, answer in crossword puzzles. He is because the OTT is yeah it comes in very handy. Mister Five Hundred Eleven Home Runs. Still about what, five nine five ten. I think he's the shortest member of the Five Hundred Eleven Home Runs. And he gets a, a mention in the Field of Dreams when the young Moonlight Graham is, first shows up to the field. He's like, there's a, you know, he's naming all the players. He says, and Mel Ott? Nice. Virgil Clemente. Satchel Page. Satch. That's a good one. I'm set that aside. Gail Andujar. Another frame one. Roger Clemens. Teddy Ball Game. 
empty there. Well, we're down to the last three packs. This is a, a small box. They, they don't come in the big box with you know, 36 packs like the base set does. But well, they promise what? One autograph, one relic? Or uh, two? The box, yeah. Some combination two, of two? Yeah. Although, last time I opened a, a regular Panini box, I got three. Uh -huh. That was only supposed so to be fingers two. Fingers crossed. Yeah. I think it says in the fine print, it says on average. Yeah, when well, they got to cover their bases. Machado. See, one of my superpowers, that was taken at uh, SunTrust Park. The picture that's based on. I think your superpower was all about like old stadiums. That's a no, new it's, stadium. well, any stadium. It's some new stadiums, I can tell. Babe Ruth, Babe. Boston Braves pitcher. That's a, that's a unique one. I, I apologize when I turn this around. You can't see the back because of the angle. Chipper Jones. Freddie Freeman, right for Chipper. See, SunTrust Park. Where was this one taken? That's Turner Field, I think. Maybe. I can't tell if he's wearing a home uniform or a road uniform. Yeah, they really mess with the colors of these uniforms. Alrighty. These are nice looking cards. I will say the, the only drawback from not having the license to have the logos is sometimes you can't tell what team they're playing for. Yeah. Although they do a good job of like, hiding the fact that they don't have the team names on there yeah. because they put the arms in front of where the name would be. And that kind oh of stuff. goodness. This one must Jeez. have like, this one must have an actual homeless wagon card in it <laughs> because it is impossible to open. All right, I'm just going to hand this to Ryan, see right. if he can open it. Oh, see, he, yeah, he's got, he's got magic skills. There you All go. All right. Yogi. There, uh, it's weird. I don't know why I'm putting some cards aside. <laughs> so it's like, Al Kalon, what a loser. Yeah, you just, like, your randomness is amusing to me. An artist proof of Ricky Henderson. Oh, that's cool. It says on the back, uh, I'm, I'm looking for, like, a, you know. A, One of? Yeah. Chipper flashback. Ty Cobb. But he makes your cut, but Al Kaline doesn't. Yeah, I guess I'm going like, you know, inner circle Hall of Famer. Yeah. You know, but not all Hall like, Hall Theory. Yeah. There we go. Oh, the light just turned off in this room. Even it is disappointed that I can't open this card. The light's like Jason, your time's done. This video would be about four minutes shorter if I could open these packs. The thing that amuses me is you're getting worse as the... I know, and my anger! Oh my goodness. <laughs> We're up to 13 minutes. Alright, whatever is the best card in here, you can keep for your assistance. Mr. Crush. 247. I saw a t-shirt, speaking of, you know, cool t-shirts, I saw a I saw that t-shirt from, I think it's, Ro is it Roto Gear? Roto, Roto Wear? Roto Wear, yeah. yeah. It, it says 247-24-7. Uh, you want to hear a fun fact? Chris Davis, you know, they call him Crush Davis sometimes. Crash Davis, his record home run in Bull Durham was number 247. That's awesome. Isn't that kind of cool? It is cool. You got a Maris with David Wright. I know someone in this office who will like having this card. Oh, yeah. So I'll our, set that our, aside. Newest, our newest full-time employee. Yes. Miss Alyssa Sconzo. Hey, there's uh, Ronald Acuna Jr. He's pretty good. All right. Well, that was fun. Yeah. Um, again, as always, follow me on Twitter. And if you're watching this, you're already on my feed. Uh, so go ahead and follow me. If you're not, follow Ryan. That's Ryan Fagan. It's at Ryan Fagan. Follow at SN underscore MLB for your latest baseball news. And watch us on Change Up. Not Change Up. That's the DAZN show. Well, we might be on Change Up. Point. Yeah, we might be on Change Up point. eventually. Um, watch us on Opening Day, which is our... You came up with a name for that show. I know. I'm forgetting that. I know. This is, this is not my best 14 <laughs> minutes and 32 seconds. Uh, watch us on Opening Day. It's, it's our show where we open boxes of baseball cards old and new and we give away the good ones for free uh, you can find that on YouTube we've had three episodes published so far we've got uh, three more in the can and more to come so thanks for watching let's do this again sometime